Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve a problem related to the profession of a lawyer. So they have given the question, Sri Yudhishthira is a leading advocate. He maintains the book on cash basis, ascertain professional income for 23-24. They have given the receipts and payments account. Below that, they have given some additional information loan is borrowed for professional purpose so the loan from bank whatever they have given here 65,000 that is borrowed for professional purpose but we will not give that uh, reduction here but interest on loan we will consider depreciation rates they have given next they have given out of the car expenses 25% is related to his personal use so total in the total car 25% he has used the car for personal use remaining 75% of the car is used for professional purpose so only remaining 75% whatever he has used for professional purpose we will take it into consideration using this information let us compute his taxable income from profession you need to have three columns like this so in that first let us add all the professional receipts so for that you have to see the left side of your receipts and payment account first is balance brought down so ignore balance brought down next you have consultation fees so as a lawyer he will take certain consultation fees that we will take it into consideration 37,700 next you have special commission so he has taken a special commission that also we will take it into consideration next you have presents from clients this is nothing but gifts from clients which is allowable so gift from clients 12,500 rupees you will allow it next remuneration from articles as a lawyer he would have written certain articles in the newspapers and magazines from which he would have received certain articles so all those things are allowable so remuneration from articles 22,700 is allowable next loan from bank as i told you the loan is taken for professional purpose but loan loan will not consider only interest on loan we will take it into consideration hence loan from bank we will ignore next share of income from huf share of income from huf is the income from other sources so we will not take it into consideration here next you have arbitration fees so we are having arbitration fees is related to lawyer so that arbitration fees we will take it into consideration of 23,250 next income from betting income from betting comes from income from other sources comes under income from other sources so here we will not consider that income from betting so that's all about the receipt side so add everything you will get a total of 1,25,950 you get the total of 1,25,950 from that you have to reduce all the professional payments for that look into the credit right side of your uh, receipts and payment account staff salary so you would have appointed certain staff members for them he need to pay the salary next office rent 6000 rupees he, he might be having a rented building so for which he would be paying an office rent of 6000 rupees purchase of professional books so professional books purchasing is uh, a capital expenditure we will not consider the capital expenditure here but depreciation on that which is a revenue expenditure that will be considered so depreciation on professional books the total value of professional books is 7500 as per the income tax rules uh, the depreciation rates on books is 40 percent we will consider that 40% depreciation rates. The answer will be 3000 rupees. 
furniture is purchased furniture is purchased is also again a capital expenditure we will not consider the capital expenditure here but depreciation on that furniture can be considered so the total value of depreciation is 15000 uh, the rate of depreciation of uh, furniture as per income tax rules is 10% so 15,000 into 10 percent will be 1,500 that is your depreciation. Next you have car expenses. Car expenses is 9,000 rupees. In the additional info they have told that in that 25 percent is for personal use. So only remaining 75 percent which is used for his profession that we will be taking it into consideration. Next. Computers purchased as I told you computers purchase is a professional expenditure So it is a cap sorry. It is a capital expenditure. We will not consider the capital uh, expenditure the remaining Amount that is sorry the depreciation on that only the depreciation on that we will be considering So the total value of computer purchase is 30,000 and the standard depreciation rate as per income tax rules on computers is 40% so 30,000 into 40% will be 12,000 rupees. Next you have repayment of loan. Again repayment of loan is a capital expenditure. We will ignore that. Interest on loan. Since the loan is borrowed for professional purpose, we will consider this interest on loan. So the interest on loan is 9,300 rupees. Next you have household expenses itself says that it is household so we will ignore that medical insurance premium so he has taken a medical insurance premium and it is nowhere related to his profession so we will not take it into consideration car purchased car purchase is a capital expenditure so we will allow depreciation on that so the value of car is 1 lakh rupees the depreciation rates according to income tax rule is 15 percent and complete car is not used for his profession 75% of the car is only used for the profession so we will consider only 75% next balance carried down so balance carried down we have to ignore now that's all about the professional payments if you add all these things you will get the total professional expenditure of 64,100 rupees if you subtract that from professional receipts you will get the taxable income from profession that is 61,850 this is how you need to solve the problem hope you have understood how to solve this problem very well if you have any doubts you can put your doubts in the comment box so that i'll respond to your doubts as soon as possible thank you for watching the video i'll come back in the next video with some more problems